Hi, I am Diana from Turkey. Please like and subscribe. I've been hesitating a lot about sharing my story, but for the sake of Get the Lesson, I've decided to get my message across to every father in this world. I'm gonna tell you my story so you can know what happened in my life, which made my reality much worse. I'm Diana, the sad one. I grew up in a poor family with my dad, mom, my sisters, Lena, and my brother, John, and I was the oldest among them. When I was 10 years old, my mother fell ill. Her illness wasn't ordinary because it was caused by my father's family. They sought the help of a sorceress to drive my mother insane, and my father abandoned her. They succeeded in their plan, and my father divorced my mother and prevented us from seeing her. The poor woman struggled with both illness and longing. She would stand outside, waiting for us to pass by, calling out to greet us. But my father prevented us and told us that she was a crazy woman from the neighborhood and that she would kill us if we got close to her. My sister Lena and I couldn't believe it, but my brother John was young and believed the story. One day, John came running to me and said, Auntie, Auntie, the crazy lady from the neighborhood passed away. I didn't know if I should cry for the loss of my mother or cry because of John's words describing her as a crazy lady. We couldn't attend the funeral because we weren't allowed to do so either. Years passed and I grew up and entered the prime of my youth. One day, my father called me and gathered us in one room. He told us what he had been thinking and said, you've grown up and I won't worry about you anymore. I wanted to tell you that I've decided to get married again. Lena strongly rejected the idea, while John took a neutral stance as if it didn't matter to him. As for me, I pretended to be indifferent and said, what's the matter with you two? It's his right to get married. Dad, do whatever you think is right, and I'm with you no matter what. After a few days, my aunt and father took me to meet the woman he had chosen. She was demanding, but I was surprised that my father agreed to all her requests. Months later, their wedding took place. What truly surprised me was that we were a poor family, yet the wedding ceremony was extravagant. It made me wonder where my father got all the money he spent on this occasion. A few days passed, and my father wanted to talk to me privately. He said, Diana, my daughter, I'm sorry, very sorry. I asked him, what's wrong, dad? What happened? He replied with sorrow. I did something terrible. I was shocked by his words and asked him, oh my God. What did you do? He answered with regret. I didn't have enough me for the dowry and wedding expenses, so I borrowed from one of my friends. But he imposed a condition that I agreed to without hesitation. I said to him, and what is it? He said, he told me that if I couldn't repay the debt within a month, I had to marry you off to him. I was in disbelief. What? Yes, I thought I could repay the debt, but I couldn't. Last night, he came to collect the debt as per our agreement. He's older than me, Diana. He's as old as your grandfather, Diana. I don't know in what world I was at that moment. I looked at my broken father with coldness, but inside, I cried and screamed. He kept talking, saying, You won't marry him, Diana. I'd rather go to jail than see you marry him. I held myself together and told him that I agreed to this marriage. Then I left the room. My feelings were mixed. I'm Diana, the blonde with blue eyes. I'm the one everyone wishes for, especially my beauty. And now I'm marrying a 70-year-old man. Why would I marry him? It's because of a mistake my father made. I've been an orphan because of my father's mistake. I took on the responsibility of a father and three young children because of my father's way of thinking. And now here I am living out the rest of my life as a servant to my husband, all because of another mistake my father made. Days passed and I got married. I clearly remember my family's tears every time they called me, but I always pretended to be happy in front of them and reassured them, saying, I'm fine. But the reality was different. I was a maid in every sense of the word to a demanding old husband. Days went by and I gave birth to my first child, it was then that he decided to legalize our marriage. After pressure from the doctors, three children later, he still humiliates me every day. He beats me and finds ways to torture me. I still visit my father's house and tell them that I'm fine. My sister, Lena, still complains about the cruelty of my stepmother, and my father does nothing. 
Suddenly, one day, my husband fell. His children from his first wife took him to the hospital, and it turned out he had suffered a stroke and lost his memory. He asked them to let him stay with his first wife, and so I became free in my own house. At least for a short while, until my father had a high blood pressure and stayed in the hospital for days. The doctor said his days were numbered. We were all shocked. I made my decision. I would stay by his side and take care of him until his last breath. In the first few days, my father remained silent. Then he decided to confess. Every day, he would cry intensely and apologize to me for wasting my youth. But each time, I told him that I was fine and that I didn't hold any grudges or hatred in my heart towards him. That year passed filled with sorrow as my father passed away, followed by my husband. He left us a decent inheritance, which me and my three children lived off. One day, some women came to my house. When I received them, after a few minutes, one of them said, I don't think it's right for children to grow up without a father. It's really tough in this day and age. Another one said, and you, you're still young and beautiful. A thousand men would love to be with you. And another one said, Diana, I have a relative who wants you to be his partner. I flatly refused and they tried to convince me a lot, but I refused. My neighbor kept visiting me often. And each time she told me about her relative's desire to marry me, she told me that he loved me before I got married. And when he heard that I got married, he swore never to marry. He was so happy when he got this opportunity and he promised to treat my children as his own. I thought a lot and decided to give him a chance. And now two years have passed since my marriage. Thank God I have a daughter from him and he truly is a wonderful father to my children. My new husband really understands me. Yeah, no, he's taking care of my kids like they're his own flesh and blood. Seriously, not all guys are created equal. I hope you all really like the story. I also hope to meet your lovely faces in a new story and a new experience. Until then, take care, y'all. Peace out.